Well, first, assuming that that is a valid uh, impeachment complaint, because there is a ban on filing a complaint within a year, because that is a supplemental complaint, it may be considered as another complaint, which will fall on the prohibition. Assuming that the informant in fact, that like the other one is intended for publicity and propaganda. There is no ground for such a complaint against the president. Sir, so you're saying that there may still be legal questions because this, this may not be considered as an additional allegation or additional um, crimes presented in the initial impeachment complaint filed by uh, Alejano? Yes. In fact, some members of the Congress have already expressed the view that a supplemental complaint may not be in accord with the law. Because that is another ground. They should have done it in the first complaint and included in the grounds they cited earlier. Mm -hmm. Sir, he also had this statement that uh, President uh, Duterte was taking a defeatist stance and it would seem that, you know, he's, he's just allowing China to, uh, to conduct some activities in the West Philippine Sea and some areas that is uh, actually part of Philippine territory. Yeah, sir, sure. you know, uh, the, from what I, what I gather from the Chinese ambassador, they were only doing an innocent passage in that area. And, in fact, they had uh, the consent of the president. They sought permission to pass by that area. They were not conducting any research, anything that would be in violation of our territorial rights. So based on those statements, you think, sir, that there's really no basis to impeach the president because of these issues? Uh, Alejandro is saying it's betrayal public trust, culpable violation of the Constitution for these issues on Benham Rice and Panatag Shoal. No, oh, certainly. He doesn't even have any proof that uh, such and such uh, an event took place. Mm -hmm. Sir, also among the statements of uh, Congressman Alejano, he was questioning the real reason behind the alleged special relations of President Duterte with China. In fact, what he's saying is what's behind the, the supposed uh, trips of the president during elections to China or before the elections to China. He also said, oh, he posed a question that could it be possible that China may have intervened during the elections? You know, even that question of his, is it possible? In other words, it's in the realm of speculation. It's only for publicity, for good publicity for him, for being the complainant. It's propaganda against the president. So how do you see this uh, affecting the president for now? Because in the past, when uh, uh, Alejandro initially filed the complaint, the president said that, uh, you know, it's, it's welcome for him, that he just wants to do his job, and that this is part of the democracy. But it's not affecting him. In fact, it's not affecting the people. The fact is, in the current online survey, he is number one in uh, the most influential person in the world. His survey in the Philippines is on top two. So they will try everything in the resources, but they will fail in their propaganda and assault against the president. Uh, in the past, there was, uh, there was also a statement by Malacanang, uh, by spokesman Abelia, about this being seemed to be part of an orchestrated plot to uh, destabilize the administration. Do you share that view? Well, the, 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 it appears to be so. They, each one of those who are doing this propaganda thing against the president may have their own agenda, but since there is a convergence of this attack against the president, so there appears to be a conspiracy against it. Okay, thank you very much, Chief Presidential Legal Counsel Sal Panelo.